okay this our first slippers How for the slippers oh we are late we have many many designs to do so this is our first slippers we are coming to do the one i show you on the page this is how they did it they did. It used to be two different bees so the size is six yeah you can use any you can decide to use one color you can decide to use two color and the needle if you don't have zero a uh, five stroke zero you can use this one there's a big one yeah there's a big one you can see it in the middle we have a big one here you can use it so now we are coming to weave we are coming to do the rope for me I don't use the wipe that one I'll be teaching down one to bear uh, most of the times I don't use the wipe the reason being that if I use the certain bias and the certain bias removes it means there is the design to remove so I do it direct on the slippers I do it direct on the slippers so the person can wear it um, unless the person decided if the person wear it and maybe the slippers got spot we just remove the design from the slippers and fix it on another one but using a certain bias is the easiest way to do but it's then kept long before spoiling that's disadvantage and advantage so we are now coming to weave the the rope so this is my these are I'm coming to use for the rope so I will teach you how to weave the rope this is my slippers you do is two pair so this one whatever we do to left is the same thing we are going to do to the left to the right sorry so we are now coming to start okay now I'll pick up this white at the middle and black black at the side so what I'm going to do uh, for me I want the yellow should be the side side and the white I be at the middle so I'll pick one yellow first then one white another yellow then I'll lock it the white So white will be at the middle. So now yellow, yellow, and the white will be the one I will be using to lock. That will be at the middle. So I will lock with. We are going to do 12 lines. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'll do 12 lines. So that's what we are going to do. 12 lines. Sorry, I'm forgetting one thing. The fishing line I'm using 0 0.5. Sorry. The fishing line is 0 0.5. Yeah. Okay. So now this is my 12 my 12 line. So on the 12 when after the 11 when you are doing the 12 this is the 12 line. This is the 12 line. So when eh, I says 12 11 sorry sorry 11 so the 12 line what you are going to do is that have you seen how it can reason you know you will continue from the 12th line this one so how to curve to the other side that's what you're going to do so your left fishing line your left fishing line you pick one yellow you 
pink one and yellow one white another yellow all of them will be on one fishing line then you use your right fishing line to cross with the yellow so you see that it have 10 as, as you are turning I hope you get it so when you turn now there's yellow here already there's yellow here already so what we are going to do is that you pick sorry 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 here here must be white not yellow let me come back again when you get to the level one sorry today the mistake one when you get to the eleven one you pick one yellow and two white because here must be white here must be white yeah. so you use your right fish line to cross with cross with one of the whites Yeah. so here must be white so when you get here you pick the yellow on your right fishing line yellow to on your left fishing line and use white you use white white to cross you can see so now there's one here already there's one here already so this is two so left is ten to go one yellow on your right another yellow on your left then you use white to cross So now we are going to add seven more. Mama. So after Mama. weaving, after weaving the other side, as you can see, Mama. Mama. now the fishing line, you pass it through back of the bead as you are locking it. Like three beads. The same to the other one too. Mama. So it will come to this side. You you give a note <coughs> as usual that we always do. You do that three times. So, so if you can't see here, you get to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This side will be the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now, since I'm not using this specific type of sequence, I'm using black. So I'll teach you how to fix it on it. Okay, this is my needle. The fishing line is 0 0.5. So I'll fix my needle. I'm now coming to fix the rope on the slippers. When you, you buy slippers and you see something like this on it, just use blade, blade or cutter to remove it, to remove it from 
top of it. Do the same to this one so that it will be easy for you to fix the bead on it. So what you do is that don't press, don't press, don't start from the bottom here to the top. The rather start from the top to the bottom because when you start here, the knot at the end of the fishing line, to the person where it to be choking the person, the knot if you leave it here to be choking the person. So the we advise people to start from the top. So when you start from the top, you use your plier. I hope everybody have a plier. Use your plier to hold the needle. It's the plier that will help you push the needle. It's not hard difficult, but you take time to do it. As you can see, then you bring the fishing line out. So now you send it back again. You send it back again. You send it back again. As you can see, you send it back again. And I'm ready. Now I'm ready to go. First, when you, you, you place it on it, you start from here, yeah, one side to this side first before you come and do the second one too. So what you do is that you pass the needle through the bead. Through the bead here. If you pass it pass it through one of the bead here. Let it pass through the bead. So when you pass it through the bead, you break it inside, inside of this. Then you gauge the the slippers, and you, that's how you are going to do it. Please take time and do it so that you not pin yourself. Yourself. I'm doing it as you can see. So, if you are doing it, the fishing line will be hiding inside it. So, the next one, when you want to bring it back, you make sure it comes into the hole of the pit. to come here as you can see to come inside there what you do is that if you come inside you can pass it through the next bit make sure you come to the next bit then you send it back to the next bit here that's what we are going to do to the end. When you are done, if you want to lock it, don't lock it inside. Make sure you lock it outside. You do the same thing. You do the same to the other side. So, after the slippers, this is the first sign post. 